from the discovery of fire and tools to computers and smartphones, science has always made the world a safer place and many mysteries known. The what excites us most is the future of health. Indeed, for most of us, it is the most precious wealth. Hello, I'm Sharia, and today we're going to talk about the future of healthcare. My story begins back in India when I was still doing my undergraduate degree. My grandma was ill and needed to be hospitalized, and the responsibility was given to me. So my grandparents live in a, medi in a medi medical town about two hours away from the bustling city of Kolkata. And while admitting her to the local clinic, for the first time in my life, I was exposed to the dilemmas of the Indian medical system. The, the clinic was well equipped with basic instruments like pulse oximeters to diagnose her condition. However, there was no doctors or uh, hospital beds available. There were people standing at the end of long queues everywhere. As my grandmother laid her head on my shoulders, breathing heavily, I knew she needed oxygen. However, to get admitted to the emergency care, she needed to see the doctor at the end of that long line. As a young person, I felt helpless. I had no clue what to do. The doctor took notice of this eventually and saved the day. So, I, after this event happened in a couple of weeks, I went back to my university and I decided to make a change. I teamed up with tinkerers and makers like myself in a quest to build low-cost diagnostic devices. And then when we started raffling through the data, what happened to my grandma seems all too common. There is less than one doctor and 1.3 hospital beds per thousand patients in India. Can I, however, for those same thousand people, there are 775 mobile phones. In a country like Ireland, there are more phones than people today. So, for the last four years, me and my team at Think Bio Solution have been working on turning your smartphone into a medical device so that diagnostics would be available to as many people as possible around the globe. The current medical alternatives range from fitness trackers, like uh, which measures your pulse and your steps while you're jogging or, or, or at the gym. You can also plug some of these devices directly to your smartphone, like a digital thermometer, that then recommend, uh, based on your body temperature, what to do. Most of these applications are also powered by cloud computing so that they can make real-time predictions. However, with all these devices out there, we are just at the forefront of a digital revolution, where the ubiquitous use of smartphone is going to change the very definition of healthcare as we know it. From the hard to find the uh, sick care, of today to the ever-present well care. Now, you must, guys must have wondered how some of these medical devices with these big fancy scientific names work, and I'm gonna explain that now. So, uh, we are constantly being bombarded by radiation of varying wavelength. As humans, we can only see a very narrow lane, range called the visible range, which starts in the blue and ends in the red. Now, some animals, like bees, can see in the in, uh, uh, ultraviolet range, which are wavelengths larger than the blue end of the spectrum. Snakes can sniff uh, infrared, which is beyond the red end of the spectrum. Modern medical devices emulate these animals' senses by shining light beyond the visible ren range on the skin. For example, uh, oxygenated blood absorbs more infrared than the surrounding tissue. So a fingertip-based pulse oximeter shines infrared light at the tip of your finger and measures the difference in absorption with time. And this tells it about your pulse. So the pulse oximeters then transfer this data back to the computer or to the smartphone via a cable or wirelessly. But this all comes at an added price. The price that you as a user have to carry on you always added hardwares like uh, fitness trackers or the clip-based uh, pulse oximeters or uh, allow the doctor to tether to one of these medical devices back at his hospital. Me and my team at Think Bio Solution have come up with a clever way to avoid all this. We use uh, hardware that is already available to you, your smartphone camera. Our application allows you to take a video of your face. The software then tracks your face 
and measure small changes in color on your forehead in the red and infrared region. And then by amplifying the signal, we can measure blood flow in your face, for example. Other parameters, like the heart rate or the respiratory rate, can also be deduced from these sort of measurements. Now, these vital signs are key parameters for early detections of fatal diseases like heart attacks, for example. Other applications of this device would be to measure, for example, blood oxygen saturation levels by using two wavelengths rather than one. One with which you measure the uh, absorption of oxygenated blood and another you measure the absorption of the de deoxygenated blood. Now, blood oxygen saturation is an early warning mechanism for diseases like asthma, pulmonary disorder, and sleep apnea. So, with the modern generation moving from villages to cities more and more, and with our lifestyles, we are facing more and more lifestyle diseases like obesity, uh, uh, blood sugars, and uh, uh, tension-related related problems, which ultimately leads to heart attacks. No wonder the World Health Organization reports that three out of 10 people die out of uh, cardiovascular diseases. And uh, amazingly, in India, this number uh, adds up to about 2.5 million people dying each year. What we hope is that at the face of rising cost of medical expenses, it is tools like this uh, smartphone camera that's going to help you to fight and detect these deadly diseases at an early stage. So that one day, my grandma can use her smartphone for quick detection of her diseases for a healthy tomorrow. Thank you.